Today, I want to do a comparison on two different EDC pocket organizers, and that's the Maxpedition Micro Pouch and the Maxpedition Mini Pouch. On the left, we have the Maxpedition Micro Pocket Organizer, and this one comes in at 3.5 inches by 1 inch by 5.5 inches high. And then on the right, we have the Maxpedition Mini Pocket Organizer, and this one comes in at 4 inches by 1 inch by 6 inches high. Starting with the exterior, on the Micro here, you get a slip pocket on the front. This isn't elastic or anything like that, and it has no Velcro to secure it, but it's just a good place to put things you're going to readily access. Now, on the front of the Mini here, it has that same slip pocket. It's, of course, larger, but it's enclosed with Velcro. So this one has a Velcro close to keep things a little bit more secure. And on the Mini, it has a 1.5 inch by 3 inch loop field for patches. So if you want to put some Velcro patches on here, you can do that right there. Flipping over to look at the back of the cases, on the back of the Micro, we have this carry handle here. That's a very handy thing to have. It makes it easy to pull out of if you have it in a bag or a backpack. And on the back of the Mini, it has that same carry handle as well as a PALS system or a pouch attachment ladder system. And this is going to let you easily attach this pouch to any compatible equipment. You don't get that on the smaller pouch. The last thing we notice is on the Micro, it has a single zipper and that's going to open and close everything. Whereas on the Mini, it has a dual zipper. Let's go ahead and open up the Mini here. Have a look inside. So that's the inside of the mini. Move that to the side and let's open up the micro. Take a look in there. Start pointing out some differences. On both the left and the right side of the back here, you get a slip pocket and that is quite cavernous, I must say. You can easily put a large notepad in there or you can stuff these full of goodies if you want to use the slip pockets as your main storage area. You have a tie down loop on the right side here. You don't get one on the left. And you have these elastic segments on each side. They're different sizes on each side here. It's both a one inch band, but these are three one inch segments on the left side and then two 1.5 inch segments on the right side. So these elastics stretch a lot. You can put a large flashlight in here, tools, whatever you want. And then the right side is gonna give you those larger segments. Looking at the interior of the mini, now, when we open it up, we're going to see those same slip pockets on the left and right. So large pockets, put your big items in here, put notepads, stuff them full of whatever you will. They are quite large. You can notice on the right side, we have a tie down loop right here. And then on the left side, we have a key leash. So that has a little clip. You can clip your keys right on there or anything else that you want to keep extra safe, keep it physically attached to the bag. You can see the elastic organizers are quite different between the two and this is probably the most stark difference I would say. You have the small one inch band here and you have that same one inch elastic band here as well, but you also get this larger band behind it as well. So it's actually multi-layer elastic. On the left side here, you get a total of six divisions. So you get these two very large ones at the back and then these four smaller ones up front. So this gives you just a ton of organization options. On the left side here, this is split into four segments. And it's good they're different sizes because you're typically gonna be carrying things that are different sizes. So having that variance is gonna make it easier. You get one very large section at the back, right? So put your very large items here. Then you get three elastic segments on the right side here as compared to the four on the left side. These EDC pocket organizers can be cavernous. You can fit a ton in here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load this one as I have it loaded now. It's definitely not my final loadout I have in here, but I wanna show you what I have in here as of now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna transfer that to the larger case so you can see the difference when this one is full, what does that look like in the larger size? There we go, so that is one full case. As you can see, it might even be a little over full, but I wanna show you just how much you can stuff into these little tiny cases. So got a couple napkins on the front, you know, those come in handy all the time. Then we open it up. Look at everything we have in this little tiny case. So I don't wanna go over all the items. This isn't an EDC video, I'm trying to show you everything you can fit in this case. Now I can take these exact items and I'm gonna put them in the larger case so you can see how this loadout looks in a bigger case. And there we go. So that all fits in here. Still a full pouch, absolutely but a lot more room in that larger pouch. Fit a little bit more stuff in this slip pocket if I want, probably a few more of those alcohol wipes. And when we open up the case, see it still is going to allow for a bit more room. Now, 
Of course, you can just stuff things in here, but you can see in this case, everything has a little bit more of a space. I can fit things in their individual case rather than putting them in that larger slip pocket. But keep in mind, this is obviously going to take up more physical space in my sling bag that it's going to go in. So I like the smaller micro size myself as it's easier to manage in my sling bag where it's going. And it also forces me to be more discernible about what I'm bringing. I hope this gives you a good sense between the micro pocket organizer and the mini pocket organizer from Maxpedition. And we'll see you soon with another video.